Good morning, everybody. Almost afternoon. So it is 20 past 11 now. And we're having a little bit of a later start. But I'll tell you what happened this morning. And then you'll know why. So we are trying a new medium today. So I'm not sure if it was Robert or um, David or Luke that brought this to my attention but you guys told me about this graphite putty that you get so it's this one here and you it's water soluble and you just use the putty straight up like that onto your paper and try and create from it <laughs> yes i don't know why i never chroma keyed before it's it's i've had the green screen all along <laughs> I don't know why I just didn't do it before. Hey Maureen, Luke, Ronnie. Luella. <laughs> Esme, hello. Esme, this is going to be an interesting one for you. Graphite in a whole different sense. Luke, yeah. Okay, so it was Luke that brought this to my attention. Um... And said it looked it looked really cool so I watched a couple of videos and um, it looks really really messy so I am prepared for a mess so I actually have a big sheet of canvas paper over here um, which I haven't tried before either and it literally is like a piece of of canvas it looks like canvas uh, I need to find out what the brand is uh, I'll look I'll look for that later and um, yeah and then I have some of these old brushes that I got from Aldi's for like two dollars they were really really cheap so I'm just gonna use them for today's big mess and I did decided to did decide to use um, okay so today's entry winner is Lottie and she entered a picture of her friend Judith and um, Judith also gave permission for me to use this image so she knows that it's gonna happen and um, I decided that this is supposed to be black and white but my printer just printed off green but I decided to change the contrast so that it's a high contrast image like you can see at the top of me here and that would be a great image to use for black and white because I'm not I don't plan on going in on the skin tones I'm just gonna do the shadows and the really dark hair and just give an indication of her t-shirt and then I'm gonna do it really big because I can't imagine working with this stuff small. It would be too hard to work with it small. <laughs> hey Shiver folks. No problem. I know that it's very, very late for some of you. Hi Peggy. Hey Amy. Cool. So that is what we're going to be using today. Uh, I have a big jar of water over here and I have the brushes. I have a black pan pat, well not black, it is neutral gray extra dark which I'm going to use to transfer this image to the paper real quick and and this. So this is, that's all I have and then I don't know if I should maybe put some latex gloves on. No, because it'll stick and I won't be able to. I'm just going to use my hands. I'm hoping that it's safe enough to just use your hands and it's not. I It wouldn't have any chemicals in it. Surely not if they advertise it in a way for you to use your hands. Okay. Oh, um... To qualify, today's giveaway is a $25 art voucher. So to qualify for that one, you needed to comment 22 for 25 in the last live stream that we did yesterday. Make sure that you commented in the part one live stream, not in the part two live stream. And then um, the next tomorrow's giveaway is going to be the same, also $25 voucher. And underneath this live stream, once it ends, you just have to comment 23 for 25 
And then, yes, when we pick today's winner, well, the next live stream winner, that's going to be the last one. And then tomorrow is the last day. And then it's all over. <laughs> hey, Master Art. Um, just looking at something real quick. Okay, so this morning, the reason that I'm so late is I had the longest conversation with one of my greatest friends, Ellen Brenneman from Ellen Brenneman's studio. And we were talking about our collaboration that we're going to be doing in February. And um, we had a practice run with Google Hangouts to see how that worked. And because I'd never used it before. And I realized that Google Hangouts wouldn't be good for this sort of thing because I can't use two cameras at the same time. You have to switch between the cameras and you can't chroma key your background out with a Google Hangout either. So um, the Google Hangout is going to be good when I'm talking to someone else or if you guys want to ask us questions and we two artists together on a platform, um, then that's going to be good. And then it'll be good for me and Val as well. I guess we'll just switch between our two cameras as we need them and but apart from that it's no good for the live stream so it's good that we had to play around with all that sort of stuff but anyways Ellen and I have decided on what we're going to be doing and when we're going to be doing it and it's all going to happen in February and I'm really excited and if you want to check her out so just look up uh, actually I'll get the link to her channel real quick she is such a lovely person she's so friendly and approachable and her art is just beautiful so she mainly used inks, mainly uses inks on um, Yupo paper. And she's the reason that I decided to um, use Yupo paper when I got my Faber-Castell pit pens, purely because the pit pens said they're India ink pit pens. And I know that Ellen uses India inks on Yupo paper, so I knew it had to work and that's why I tried it. Anyways, so here is Ellen's channel. Uh, so check it out. It is amazing. Her art is amazing. So she loves doing spirit animals and that sort of theme. So yes, so we are doing a collaboration in February. Hi, Jamie. Hi, Roseanne. Jackie. Cool, so nice to see you all on here. David says, I don't think there's any way I could use that stuff. I hate having stuff on my hands. I do too. I I don't, I like having clean everything. So it's going to be an interesting thing to try. Um, we're just going to, I'm going to allow myself to just get dirty. And hopefully I don't have to press any buttons and everything just works fine. Um, actually... I wonder how the chat's going to work if my hands are dirty. I may not be able to scroll up. <laughs> I'll try and look at the screen as much, much as possible to keep, to keep up to tabs with the chat and any questions you guys might have. Okay. Okay, so that's why I was late this morning because I had a nice conversation with Ellen and we were sorting things out for our collaboration. And, um, yes, and so we're starting a little bit later than normal. But today we are um, going to use this stuff, so let me get straight into it. So I'm going to use a sponge. Let me record. I need to remember to do this. Okay, I'm getting notifications left, right, and center for, for lots of things. Um, okay, so now I'm going to apply the pan pastel to the back of this print. I'm 
which I can see I just need to sort of do that section there. it where we want it on here there we go stick it down <laughs> yes I'm finally using a green screen I've had it all along but I've just never I never even thought to look up how to chroma key in in um, OBS Okay, this is going to be so dirty. <laughs> mm. I'm already annoyed with the purple pastel I have on my fingers. Maybe I should, I probably shouldn't wear these clothes. I should wear older clothes. Anyways. Hey, Ellen is on here. Hey, Ellen. Yes, we had a really nice chat today. Can't wait for the collab. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to use just an etching tool to quickly get the outline down. And like, I'm not going to, this is going to be messy and I'm not going to try and be perfect. I will, um, the only thing I'm going to try and do sort of accurately is her eye and the bottom of her nose and just just the general shape of her lips. If I can just get that accurate, then I'll be happy enough. The rest doesn't have to be that accurate. It will just look like a nice, pretty but messy black and white portrait. And, um, I think this image is also actually the perfect image for this. Oh wow, that's really dark. You really don't have to press very hard. <laughs> but that's fine. Um, it looks like this stuff is pretty dark too. The, from the videos that I've watched on YouTube about it, it is... If you wet it, it's very, very dark. So we'll have to see what happens. This is going to be so interesting. <laughs> but while we're busy with this November thing, may as well take advantage of trying all the new stuff. got a very pretty face I think it's gonna be a good portrait to just doing black and white and especially with the dark hair it just it helps the whole situation <laughs>
Okay, and then with her shirt, I'm just gonna I'll put her hair this side. But I'm not gonna do a whole shirt, I'm just gonna do like a um, shaded, just a little shaded area to indicate that that's where it ends. Oh, that's pretty. Cool, just like that. That's all we need. And get an eraser. Clean up. <laughs> Clean up, I say. Let's see. I'm going to put a piece of masking tape on the side of her face because we obviously want to keep that nice and straight. up here too. <laughs> okay, this is gonna be fun. Mm. <laughs> I'm tidying up already. Camera check. Yes, it's going. Thank you. Okay, so we can move the pan pastel out the way. We can move that paper towel out the way. Radio. This is going to be interesting. in there. Let's put it right in the picture there. Yes, it's not the same without the pocket watch. <laughs> George. <laughs> um, okay, so now, now, I wish I could, is there a way I can see the chat? Pop up chat. Yes. Okay. So I'm trying to have the chat sort of on a separate screen. Okay. 
I'm adjusting my screens. I can see more of the chat because I've made it a separate screen so I can drag it so it's a bit longer. And then, because I'm not looking at the YouTube screen, you guys will tell me if there's any lag or anything like that. Please. Okay. Uh, I'm getting there, I'm getting there. There we go. What are you going to vote on, Clarice? You should stream the entire piece of tomorrow's stream from start to finish. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I will then. Well, that's what I try to do. I just never know how long something's going to take. And I need a break too. <laughs> um, and maybe over my mouse. What are you saying? What should I put over my mouse? I can see a fair bit of the chat, so I shouldn't have to scroll or use my mouse. The only time I would, may need to use it is if there's any sort of um, lag. Okay, so let's open this up and get a little piece out of there. Very shiny. Oh, I should probably get my brushes ready because I don't want to have to fiddle. So like I said before, for anyone that missed it, I just got these cheap brushes from Aldi for like <laughs> $2 for a pack. So they can... Oh, what about my camera? I'm going to need my hand for my camera. Okay, I'm going to only try and dirty my right hand and keep my left hand clean. Let's see if we can do that. some brushes here um what else might i need so i just prepare for it maybe a little plastic palette if i want to try and mix something um I just have like a plastic sleeve here, so if I want to mix something on the top, then I can. So let's put that there. <sighs> no, more like that. Okay, up there. Okay. Robert says, finger paint my last painting. <laughs> yeah, maybe. maybe. But then it have, it'd have to be a big one. I'm not going to say yes. I'll say maybe. <laughs> Plastic saran wrap over your stuff you want to keep clean. I'm not going to be flicking paint everywhere. I just have to be careful what I touch. Oh, the randomizer. Actually, how about before we start this, then we will pick, do the giveaway now. And then when we pick tomorrow's name, 
How many are on here now? Maybe, maybe we'll just do both right now. 36. 36 watching now. Let's just do both. So let's do the giveaway and pick the next name and then we'll get started. So let me pause this. Okay, we'll just, we'll do it all now before things get too messy. <laughs> Have Vinny painted. Yeah, right. <laughs> Actually, Vinny's not bad. He paints little miniature models really well. Um, okay, right. So now I am going to yesterday's live drawing. Part one. To pick the giveaway. Person. Part, part one. Okay. Okay, so 29 comments for yesterday. Number one, we've got David Rooks. Number two, Esme. Number three, Nanette. Number four, Janet Brown. Um, number five, Patty. Number six, Rob. Number seven, Mary Ellen. Number eight, Sandra. Number nine, Chris Crafts. Number 10, Jada. Number 11, Amy. Number 12, Luke. Number 13, Rain. Uh, number 14, Tracy. Number 15, Susanna Fine Art. Number 16 is Ngozi. Uh, Ngozi, you've already won a giveaway, so I might just pass that on to the next person. So number 16 is Marion. Number 17 is Marjean. Number 18 is Valerie. Number 19 is Clarice. Number 20 is Noe's mom. Number 21 is Barb, 22, Blossom, 23, Linda, and 24 is Amal. Okay. So we've got 23. That's our max number. So if we go in the app. So we're in the app. The minimum value is 1. The maximum value is 23. Save, and let's pick. Number 14. Right. So number 14 is, okay, so we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Tracy! Tracy, is Tracy on here? She usually is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 14. Yes, Tracy. Congratulations, Tracy. So you win a $25 voucher. Um, let me write that down. Reply, you won. Okay. Cool. Good work, Tracy. Okay, now let's pick the next person for the last drawing. I I think I've given everyone plenty of opportunity to enter. Uh, if there's anyone on here right now who hasn't entered but you want to enter and you want me to put your name on the list now, you have to speak right now. So I'm going to give you two minutes.
<laughs> Jackie says we want the sheep. <laughs> yes, that would be a good one to end off with. Or any one of them would be. <laughs> Peggy's asking, am I on there? Yes, you're on there. You're number 39. So the names that are on there, we've got Shara, Barb, David. Uh, Landy, Luke, Steph, Nanette, Maureen, Marianne, Lottie, Ngozi, Amal, Carrie, Lenny. Why doesn't it delete the damn names? Lottie, we're doing today. Okay, Shara, Bar, we done. Shara, David, Landy, Luke, Steph, Nanette, Maureen, Marianne, Ngozi, Amal, Carrie, Jody, Renee, Christy, Jody M, Luella, we did. Peggy, Linda, and Gretchen. Okay, so taking out the names. Save it. Okay. Okay, those are the names. Cool. Okay, that's it. We're ready. We're gonna go. Uh, I guess I should just check <laughs> Facebook and make sure. No, nothing on Facebook. We're good to go. We are good to go. Okay? And three, two, one. Lundy! Oh my gosh. Congratulations, Lundy. I think Lundy sent a beautiful picture of a cat. So, let me go find it. Go find it. Uh, inbox. I'm um, sorry for you guys that missed out. <laughs> um, okay, let's go look for Lundy's picture. Lundy is in South Africa and the time there now would be like 2 a.m. So I know there's no way she'll be seeing this. She has been a supporter on Patreon for a very long time. Or on my Facebook at least. Ooh, ooh, what's that? Wait, wait, no, she sent me. Oh, it's not a cat. She sent me an owl pi Ooh, this is a pretty picture. It says, a child thought I'd share a photo for the competition, but it's not of me. I'm by far not that photogenic. <laughs> My latest owl I found yesterday. If you need the high resolution, let me know. Okay, let's see. Uh, this one. Download. Okay get it on there this that's that's a very beautiful beautiful photo so let's add it I'll show you which one it is so Lundy's image that she put in browse images is this gorgeous gorgeous owl look at that isn't that pretty she's a great photographer she takes some amazing photos and she particularly likes bird life so cool congratulations Lundy I think that's gonna be a great image to end off this challenge with and I know she'll be stoked so I'll be letting her know <laughs> Jackie says I should paint a collage of 
David's, the sheep, and Lundy's. <laughs> that way I do three in one. <laughs> oh, I couldn't. I think I probably have about, I don't know how many were there, 10, 11, 12. That I'd have to do it for everybody. Okay, okay. So Luke says in South Africa it's 3 a.m. Where he is now it's 2 a.m. Why are you still awake? <laughs> okay, right. So now I am just going to leave things as they are on the screen. I'm watching my real-time screen, not the lagged screen. So you guys would be about 10 seconds behind. And yes, but I can see the cam the the chat and I should be good to to go. Um, I do need to remember the camera. So I'm gonna try and keep my left hand clean so that if I need to touch anything like my camera, I can do that. So I'm taking out a chunk like that. That should do. I should not definitely not need any more than that oh I want to use my other hand wow okay so it is it's very shiny like graphite music okay see that's why I need my other hand my other hand is clean so let's let's make a nice little point with it I almost want to wet it just to make it it's it's almost a little crumbly it's not crumbling apart but it it's hard to make a point with it okay okay there we go we got a point going there <laughs> ah. yes yeah, so the 24 is going to be the last number unfortunately I, I took a day off um, during the week and I can't afford to go into next week because I really have to start doing what I've scheduled in for December for my students. You guys really jumped so far ahead. Jackie's already asking what medium will you do the owl in? I have no idea. I don't know yet. I'm going to think about it later. <laughs> Robert says, the more you need it, the softer it gets. Okay, well, let's just... Oh, okay. It does, it does. Okay, let's make let's make a point again. Get a point. Cause I wanna do this eye first. Okay. <laughs> okay. So let me zoom in on here so that it's semi the same size. Okay, the paper I'm using is canvas paper. So it's made for paint and acrylic. I need that to be even flatter. Ah! So if it's graphite, that should mean that I could erase. before I wet it, surely. Okay, so that's pretty dark. <laughs> oh, 
Aunt Larry said I should add a pocket watch to the owl. But as in drawing a pocket watch. Yeah, that would be cool. This is so weird. <laughs> that looks pretty cool. Even though I, I have overdone it. Let's see if I can erase anything. So I'm gonna try, no, try and erase with my left hand. No, I'm not. Okay, let's show. We'll just let this tomboy eraser get dirty. Okay. You cannot erase. Once it's there. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, you can. You just need some force. You just need to press quite firmly. <sighs> okay, yes. Better. Better. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Eric says I'm I'm buying stuff right now. <laughs> Yes, Jody, messy, messy. <laughs> no, it's not a needed eraser. It's this stuff. Art graph. Very interesting. I wonder who come up with that. You can erase, but you need a lot of force. You need to really press hard. <laughs> okay, let's add a bit of shadow there. So, I want to... Okay, so that's the excess on my finger. Maybe when we do like the nose. Okay. So I would recommend if you're going to try this stuff, do something big. <laughs> do not do something small. Because you cannot do small details with this. I'm feeling I should have even got bigger with this. Okay. Ugh, it feels like... feels like silk. That's how smooth it feels. Very, very weird sensation. Okay, okay. Um, so her nostril. So we should be able to detail a little with the brush. Using my other hand. Cool. I'm sorted. I have a free hand. Yeah. Well, it's water soluble. You should be able to wash it away just fine. Okay. Let's do the lips.
Uh, this is, this is, you know what, I'm going to be okay with, as long as this looks like a human being by the end of this, I'll be happy. I'm sorry, Judith, if it doesn't end up looking like you when it's done. <laughs> but, you know, we, I am trying, I'm trying. Okay. Okay, let's, before we carry on with the hair, let's see what happens when I take a brush um, and wet it. Hmm. Okay, okay, that's good. This might, this might work okay. Okay, okay, we might we might be able to do something cool here. So with a brush we can define these lines. Let's use another brush. Oh, cool. Okay. Okay. So it's great this stuff's water soluble. <laughs> So I'm tempted to, I'm just going to literally brush straight onto the graphite and see if I can make things darker that way. Yes. Oh, cool. Robert says use conditioner on your hands before you wash them and it should come off easier. So Kim says, so it's like using soluble graphite pencils really, but not as precise. Yep. Yeah, instead of powder or pencil, it's putty. <laughs> The triple P's of using graphite. <laughs> okay. So you can, if you want to get accurate, you can just use your brush and paint, you know, 
apply your brush straight onto the putty so that it comes off on your brush and then you can get a little bit more precise so let's say we want to get a little bit more precise with her eyelid here That's cool. Okay. I, I feel like I have a little bit more confidence now. I can, I feel like I would be able to actually apply this to her skin. So like with the side of her face, I'll definitely use a brush to define that line so that it's much sharper. Oh my gosh, Ian, yes, I'll think about it. <laughs> okay, I'm actually going to, I'm just going to dip the very tip of this in water. Wet it. Okay, there we go. If you wet this, it makes it much more sticky. Because it was starting to crumble a lot more. So I'm thinking the drier it gets, the more it crumbles. So you actually do want to wet it. Okay. Let, let's turn it into a tip and then wet that tip and then apply it while it's wet. Ooh, okay. So it's much darker if you dip it in water. See where those real dark areas are. This is so interesting. <laughs> Graphite Putty Live should be encouraged. <laughs> uh, thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. 
Ronnie reckons we should finish tomorrow's drawing in coloured pencil as that is my main love. And I would like to see it in pencil so I can do my kookaburra. Just a hint, lol lol. <laughs> yeah, maybe maybe we'll just go traditional, go polychromos and prisma colour. And then we can do a detailed piece. And then if I add a pocket watch, it'll be easy for me to draw a pocket watch in detail. Because I'm not using a medium I'm not familiar with. So yes, we could totally do that. Whatever is left on my hands, I think I'm going to to apply some very light skin values here. So see where there's a bit of shadow. Under the chin. Now, let's see what happens if I dip my finger in water. <laughs> Ooh, and then do some of this. Ooh, okay, well, look at that. That means we can use, if we use a lot of water on a brush, we should be able to get like highlights out. So maybe sort of like use it like watercolors and lift off anything. It's so cool. <laughs> What a weird, this is so weird. <laughs> this is very out of the norm. <laughs> okay, so it sounds like I definitely have to add a pocket watch into tomorrow's drawing. <laughs> That's so cool. I feel like the pocket watch has sort of become my little signature in my videos. This is so cool. Look at that. I'm just dipping my fingers in water. I'll put the jar here so you can see what I'm doing. Well, you can sort of see what I'm doing. I'm recording. <laughs> okay, let's do this side. So I am using canvas paper. Not this is not regular paper. I'm using canvas paper. Don't ask me why I picked it. I just picked it. I will get the brand of the paper sometime after and then show you. Okay. Okay. Now let's define a few more things with a brush and water. Don't itch your nose with the wrong hand. <laughs> yeah, I should. <laughs> yep, seems like I am finger painting. <laughs> okay, so this is the edge of her face. So I just wet the brush. I want to just establish the edge of her face properly.
And let's see if we have enough water on the brush. Yes, we should be able to create textures within the hair. And then we can follow the hair properly. Okay, now let's see what we can do just to sort of fix how it, how it sort of bling, blends into the skin on the edges here. No, it has no shine. Not on the canvas paper. It has a lot of shine on my hands, but not on the canvas paper. <laughs> Look at how the scar on my hand is all shiny. Looks all thick and bulgy. <laughs> uh, okay, focus, I'm working on the face. Yes, it's like all the shades of graphite pencil in one medium. The stuff is so cool. It's really cheap too. So you guys should try it just for fun. Even if you're only going to use it once. It's not going to cost a fortune. I think I paid $9 for this whole thing. Okay, now getting this smooth is another story. But that shouldn't matter. It's just about getting it to look right. Okay, I need to get away from a square brush. Wah! And take a round brush. That brush is saying, pick me! What is a lotion glove in a bottle? You just mean a, a glove? See, I, I don't like using gloves because I like to actually feel what I'm working with. So I do have latex gloves that I was considering using but then I decided no because I know I end up taking them off. Because I can't feel enough. Kim saying, Sheldine, can you dab it with tissue on the paper like watercolors to lift a highlight? Ooh, we'll try that. Ooh, 
Let's try it on the nose. So I want to lift the highlight on her nose. So let's see if we can just take a tissue. Yes, you can. As long as you do it quickly. You need to do it quickly. Let's wet that area again. Yes. So you can do that. You can lift with the tissue for highlights. Okay, let's wet the cheek and see if we can lift the highlight off of there. Yes. Now I have all these little flaky bits everywhere. I guess that can't be avoided. <sighs> Unless you blend them in. Anyways, we'll try and figure out how to, to do that last. Ink. So it's, it's just a cream that you put on. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought too, Isabel. <laughs> okay. For now, I'm just applying the stuff everywhere. I think I'm going to use a bigger brush. And then I'll, I'll work the smoothness and all of it in <laughs> later. There you go. It gets a little smoother if you use a bigger brush. Back to a small brush. Okay, and then I'm gonna paint straight onto the just paint it like that with a brush.
Okay, let's also define the nostrils a little. Okay, so for now that is good. Valerie is saying, does the graphite reactivate after it has completely dried? Uh, I think so. We'll, we'll test it on the hair again after. Ronnie says, in Australia, it is my beadsmith instead of a, a glove skin shield. I brought it from one of my suppliers. Oh, cool. Esme's asking, can you erase it with a normal eraser after it dried? Okay, so we'll test that as well. Okay, let's do the chin. So I'm going to take the bigger brush again, the bigger round brush. So this is far too dark, so I do want to see if I can lift that off, which you can. Okay, so that section was dry, so that answers your question about whether it reactivates when it's wet. Yes, it does. It certainly does. Okay. You gotta be loose with this stuff. You can't be as controlling, otherwise you'll hate it. You just gotta just go with it. <laughs> the skin dry so let's see if we try and oopsie clean with a clean brush there we go see if I can use my brush to lift some off See how far we get in creating smooth skin tones. Mm. 
<laughs> Esme's like, I will hate it. I'm obsessed with details and this just doesn't do it. <laughs> This shadow in the eye over here is too dark, so I have a wet brush and I have a tissue in my hand so that I can just dab off any excess, make it softer and softer. So I just used the wet brush there to try and create that highlight in the eye and it worked quite nicely. smooth this area out here We're just going to keep working and gradually go down. So I'm just having a look at my reference closely and just going to work section by section to try and smooth these out with a soft wet brush. seems to work. Yeah, it works quick. I don't think today's stream is going to be that long. So there's a lot of room for manipulation, which is nice. <laughs> Peggy says, imagine if this came in color, how much fun it would be. Ooh, that would be hard work. It would be fun. But that, that would be tricky. 
because you have to compensate for working with a muddy mess and trying to get colors to sort of go well together. So Esme, you can use this in a detailed way if you want to, just you'd apply your brush to the graphite and not apply the graphite putty straight to your paper. And then you'd use your brush to create details instead of the putty directly because that's much harder. But I mean, look at that, it, there's a lot of room to just move it around and just keep working it. Look how smooth I got that skin there. <laughs> yes. Uh, no, if you're going to use the brushes, then is, if you've got small brushes, then you don't need to work on a bigger scale.
Yep, it's about to click. Cool. Okay. So I feel, okay, I'm going to leave the skin to dry and then I'm going to see how detailed I can go with the lips and the eyes. And just lighten this up more. Yeah, there's a few things I can fix. Maybe pupil a bit too big, but I'll see what I can do about that later. Good night, Luke. <laughs> Okay. I need to lighten the chin even further. Better. Okay, so let's use a flat brush and see how we if we can get the details or before I wet it again you guys asked if you can erase the wet graphite once it's dried so let's see if you can you can if you press really hard mm. 
No, you can't. One section you could. But then I'm pressing really hard and nothing's happening. <laughs> so let's see if I take a flat brush and it's really wet. Then you can bring those highlights out. Still not that easy because it still moves around a lot. This is canvas paper, so I'm thinking an electric eraser might work, but uh, I don't want to go dig it out. I don't know where it is. You might try it on something else. I mean, I'll try it later. I don't know. Okay. You can certainly manipulate it a fair bit. Which is good. How about since I don't plan on using the graphite straight on there now, I just want to use the brushes. I'm going to go wash my hands real quick and see how easy it comes off. Okay, I'll leave this going so you can see how long it takes.
it comes off super easy it it washes off super super easy no problems at all ah uh, good night kim thank you for joining us okay and this stuff's great okay let's let's do some detailing um i was still busy with the flat brush Yeah, it washes off straight away. You don't even have to scrub or anything. Very easy. Come on, check, thank you. I think I'm actually going to leave the hair. It looks like hair. I'm not going to worry about getting too detailed. I'm just going to leave it. Well, that, that side of the hair anyways. Let's focus a bit more on this side of the hair.
Okay, now let's see how detailed we can get with the lips and the eye. And then that's it. I'm not, I'm not doing anything else. <laughs> I'm going to do the lips and the eye and then um, leave it. Okay, so now I'm using that little brush and I'm painting it straight onto the little graphite blobby bit I've got out. And the brush is too wet. Actually, let me wash that off. So it's real easy to clean your brushes, whoops, because, I mean, it comes off your hand that easy. It comes off your brushes just as easy. Let's see if I can just make the eye a little bit smaller because I just made it a bit too round. Oh, look at that. So much room for correction. better oh, thank you Kim Yeah, so the putty does come in one of those bags. So if you just keep it sealed, I, I agree, it'll last forever. But even if it does dry out, you can just reactivate it again with water. See if we can get little finer areas between the lashes here. It's better. And then more of a highlight. on the eyelid. Also better. No, I don't know. I'm afraid to look at Benjamin. <laughs> I think Benjamin is dead. Oh no, oh no, I did. I fed B Benjamin yesterday. I just need to give him water today. So it says 0%. So I'll give him some more water today. I've had two bottles and then I'll keep drinking. Okay, 
So now I'm painting, graph, or applying my brush straight to graphite. And now I want to make parts of the eyes darker. So your brush can't be too wet because then it will just move it around like it is there. Something is not right with the eye. I think maybe maybe it's the bottom. Just under here. I may have just made the bottom of the eye too dark. Okay. There is that very, very narrow line going straight underneath there. Okay, that's looking a yeah, that's looking a bit more like her eye. Just a little. Okay, and then we'll just go define that again. Ah, uh, the app for Benjamin is called Plant Nanny. <laughs> Okay, Kim says the bottom of the eyelid is a little flatter or straighter. Okay. Let's, whoops. I'm going to lift that off now. I just dropped a whole thing of water on me. Oh, now she looks like she's crying. <laughs> Let's just remove the whole bottom eyelid as much as we can. And start fresh. So I can still see my outline, so that's good. Let me go back to my outline. Okay. Okay, so now that I can see my outline, let me see if I can put things back on there. very softly
Yes, that looks better. And then her lips, I think once we fix her lips, it might make it a little better too because she is actually has a slight little smile in the reference, whereas in this drawing it looks like she's a little more serious. Okay, so let's see how we can fix the lips up. No, he was in the kitchen. Did you hear him in the kitchen? <laughs> we, I need to go grocery shopping. We have like no food in the house. Although yesterday, Uncle Sam brought us two whole bags of cherries that he picked off the tree, off his farm, and a whole bunch of zucchinis. So maybe I'll make something with the zucchinis. You're not recording. No, I'm not. Okay. Let's lighten up the top lip a bit more.
Okay, let's darken up her eye. dark hair under her jaw, isn't it? I'm going to use the Uniposco white paint marker for the eye. Let's add another dot there. And a little bit on the lips. Maybe even a bit on the Cupid's bow. Okay, I am going to call that it. I'm happy with that. <laughs> it's actually turned out better than I would have expected to get with a putty. So I, I thought this was going to be way more rough and messy. But um, it's actually not too bad. So let's just... Use a little bit of this stuff and just make it look like we're extending it a bit further. a graphite pencil and sign it and then let's remove this masking tape and see what it looks like just a nice clean edge I didn't end up using that just let that piece off there beautiful and that looks pretty cool, I think. 
for a first attempt for <laughs> with something so so messy. I'm very happy with that. <sighs> okay, so we only have one more day left. Tomorrow's the last day and we already picked the winner, so congratulations. Landy, are we gonna do an owl? You guys want me to put a little pocket watch with the owl? Um, since that's like a little signature of mine in the videos, so I will do that. I'll find a nice little pocket watch to put somewhere in the owl drawing, and I think we will. We'll make it a drawing. We'll make it with my traditional supplies, the supplies I use the most, which are the Polychromos pencils and the Prismacolor pencils. And, um, yeah, so that's what we'll do tomorrow. A nice small little one, so we can get through it in one day. <laughs> And that was it. I want to thank you guys so much um, for being a part of so many of these live streams videos. We really got to know each other a lot, which is nice. A lot of you got to know each other and got to meet a few new people on here. So it's been such a pleasure. So thank you very, very much. <laughs> So thank you for tuning in and I will see you guys tomorrow for the last day. So remember to comment under this video now when I finish it. Comment 23 for 25 and then you go in the draw for the final giveaway tomorrow. Okay. Thanks guys. Bye.